The traditional Islamic art style dates back more than a thousand years. It's found on everything from windows and doors to furniture and household objects. Arabesque is an art based on patterns in nature in line with religious principles. Expert artisans design the pieces, select and carve the wood. Sometimes they are decorated with calligraphy and intricate paintwork. There's no comparison between a handmade mashrabiya piece and something manufactured in a factory in Europe. The older the Arab pieces get, the more beautiful they become. It can take a skilled artisan four days to produce a small item, with larger ones taking up to a month. Much of Cairo's arabesque art is bought by foreigners, but with the collapse of the tourism industry, the market has all but collapsed. There are also fewer artisans with the skills and know-how to produce the ancient art. To become an expert requires patience and dedication. Apprentices don't get paid much, so you don't do this job unless you're really passionate about it. It is a shame for the youth of Egypt, as the age we live in has become materialistic. Young people reject jobs that require artistic skills. The number of arabesque workshops in Cairo has plunged from 80 to just about 10, but Bagri says he has no plans to change careers. If I leave this profession, it will be because I have retired, because this is in my being, my heart and my mind, and I've spent my whole life in it and taught my children. If Egypt's arabesque industry is to survive, it needs more skilled craftsmen and more buyers who appreciate and collect the ancient art form. Vic Chege, CGTN.